Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a few Christmas crafts for you. And also I decorated my Christmas tree with my granddaughter. So I wanted to show you that as well. So I have this hanging basket. It's a just a pocket basket. It's really very solidly made. It's well made. It has this little Christmas tree on the front that I thought was really pretty. And it was only a couple dollars at the Goodwill. So I wanted to bring this home and make a really pretty door hanging uh, for the holidays. So I grabbed up, I when I had gone to a yard sale this past summer, I picked up a box of garland for $2. It was a whole bunch. I don't know how many feet, but it was several feet. And I've just been cutting little pieces off it to use as filler in my different uh, different things that I do for Christmas. So I just cut off three of those uh, off that garland and I'm sticking them inside the basket to give me my greenery. So this is going to be my base. I'm going to start with this and tuck that in and it will be nice and tight so it won't fall out. I got these two little sprigs of greenery and berries from, I think it was Walmart. I picked up a few of them. So I am just going to tuck those in so it will give me a little bit of red and some color in my greenery as well. So along with that, I took a couple of uh, pieces of this greenery. I don't know, it's kind of like a fig or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway. It's uh, some greenery and it's different shade. It's a lighter green color. It's um, so I'm going to use it as just a filler and to give it some dimension, just some different colors uh, in this little bouquet that I'm making in the basket. So my basket wouldn't be complete without some beautiful ribbon to put in it or a beautiful bow. So I'm going to take this black and red checkered wired bow. I got this from Amazon mm -hmm. and I love this because it's nice and wide. So I'm just making a regular little loop bow. I'm loving these because they're so easy to make and they look really good. So I just loop it around and then I'm going to take some of my uh, floral wire and I'm going to wire it in the middle to hold it together. I'm just going to cut my ends so that they look really nice and give them a nice finish. And then I'm going to set that aside. I have some pine cones that I want to stick down in. I found these outside on the ground and cleaned them up. And now I'm going to use them in this little door display. I think it's going to look really pretty. And I love pine cones for the holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas. It just adds so much to centerpieces and wreaths and I just love pine cones. So we're going to stick those in. I have some that are just all attached to a stick. This one got broken off so I'm going to take the leaf from the greenery with the berries that I got from Walmart and just kind of put that over it to cover up that piece because it just kind of stands out a little bit too much. So I glued that over it so you can't see it. And I'm taking a bamboo skewer and I'm going to wrap that around or wrap my bow uh, wire that I used to wire the middle. I'm going to wrap that around it and give it a little glue and then trim the bamboo down just a little bit to put inside of my basket. I got these really cute little signs from Walmart as well. They were only two or three dollars. And this one says Merry Christmas. So I'm going to tuck the little uh, ribbon underneath the bow there 
with the skewer so that it will hang down nicely and then I'm going to fluff up my bow and make it look really pretty and then it will be all finished. See what you think. So I've been wanting to put in some more baskets with feet and risers in my booth. They seem to sell very well. So I had this basket for quite a while and I'm not even really sure where I got it. But I also have these napkin rings and so I thought that I would use those as feet on the bottom of my basket. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on and hope that they stay. So I'm just going to use a little bit of E6000 and some hot glue and I'm going to attach those to the bottom. So I go around most of the, the ring with the E6000 and I leave a few spots so that I can go ahead and put some hot glue on. Now the E6000 will be a more permanent uh, glue that will stick but it takes a while to dry. So in order to use it right away, I put a little bit of hot glue on there, which is pretty quick. It dries quickly, and it will hold that on there until the E6000 sticks on it, or until it dries. So there we go. They're all on there, and then I just need to style it. I have quite a few bottle brush trees from an order I got from Amazon. It was a package of 12 of them, I believe, and I have quite a few left. So I went down in my stash to find some small containers that I could put the trees in. So I found two of these little galvanized buckets. I thought that would be really cute. So I'm just going to take some of my floral foam and stuff that down inside so that I can glue my trees into it. I also got uh, the little glass candle holder. It's got a little tree on it and this fits right down perfectly inside and I thought it looked kind of cute. I also grabbed up this little enamelware, uh, I don't know, soap dish maybe, to put in a bigger tree that I had so I'm going to do something with that as well. So I'm just going to stick these little trees into my floral foam in the little buckets and glue them in. Then I'm going to take some Spanish moss and go around the outside to cover up the floral foam that's in there and go all the way around and glue that in on both of them. So this is the little tree I want to put in my enamel container and I just stick that in there and again I'm going to grab my my moss and I'm going to tuck that in around the tree and just give that kind of a rustic look. I have this string of beads that I got from Dollar Tree. I cut them a little bit to make it a little bit shorter and tied the end off so the beads would not fall off and I just wrap that around my tree just to give it some something interesting to look at on it.
Okay, so we got these lights from Olney, O-L-L-N-Y, LED decor lights. And it says, no overheating, safe to touch, environmentally friendly, material bright and glamorous. And they are bright. I can attest to that. So these are the twinkly. Oh, yeah, over here. And these are the twinkly lights. Katie's over here helping me. So this is the plug-in. Um, if you have more to add, you just take that off and you can unplug it. And then this should go into your lights. These are the new kind of plug-ins that they have. And then if you don't want your remote, your little button for on off, you also can take it off here and do it differently as well. It comes with a little uh, booklet that tells you all about it. These are cluster lights. Sorry, I think I said they were something else, but twinkly lights, I guess, but they do twinkle. So, but these are the cluster lights, 400 LED low voltage lights. So I'm going to plug these guys in. And that's what they do when you plug them in and turn them on by this switch here. They also have a remote that is on and off. That's off. We're going to do on. Maybe. There we go. And then uh, it has a timer for six, eight hour and uh, just all the time, I guess. I don't understand that one. Uh, but steady on, in wave, um, let's do steady on. There's steady on. And then we have different, I think the wave is really pretty. It's kind of, those are the twinkly lights that I was talking about. Um, and it has flashing, which is a little excessive. the slow glow which is really cool so all those different ones those are pretty neat and you can do all that once you turn it on or once you plug it in I'm sorry through the remote control these are really beautiful and there's a lot of lights there so we're gonna take them off and put them on the Christmas tree and see what it looks like so I wanted to show really quick that I didn't realize but this is like a velcro little uh, wrap around so you just kind of ball up your lights at the end or however you do that and that peels right off which is kind of cool and then we're gonna try let's see what these look like so they're not just a string of lights they're kind of like all off in all different directions so those are pretty neat let me plug them in so you can see what that looks like there we go See how those go like that. So we're going to put those on the tree and we're going to see what they look like. So this is a five foot tree and it covers the tree pretty well. It's a 400 string light set and it does very well covering the tree. I think they're beautiful and I really love the quality of these. The remote was the only thing. It didn't quite work every time you pushed on it. Um, but I, I could have, it could have been user era as well. So, but I really think these are beautiful lights and my granddaughter likes them, except that she likes the colored lights. So the white lights weren't as fun for her, but she did think they were pretty. So we took off the cluster lights and we turned on the tree lights because my granddaughter likes the colored ones and she thinks they're more beautiful or she says so we turned those on and we're just gonna go ahead and decorate so I just have some black and red ribbon that I'm gonna use and my poinsettias and right now I'm just using them they're on a clip and they're I'm just using them to hold my my ribbon at the top and then I will move them around where I want them as I go so have uh, fun enjoy watching us put the Christmas tree together
the link to the Alney Christmas lights and any discounts that I have will be down in the description so make sure you check that out and if you haven't already make sure you like share and subscribe this was a lot of fun the white lights are more my color so after my granddaughter went home I turned them back to the white so that you guys could see how beautiful it looks with the red decor on it and I hope you really enjoyed my video and all of my projects today let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite thank you for watching have a great day